I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Something vexing you, Captain? I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra II some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. That's a good question. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra II. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifests to track the Philosophist's off-world destination. Thank you, Captain. Either of the assault cruisers ever This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chi I mean the scholar shipped in and out with. What do you think you're doing? Just don't complicate my job, okay? Yank the drive and I'll. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bitcart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. stuff all right but it looks like he's not home let's search the room try to figure out where he's gone cool. sounds like cheney's gone gold panning down on the river I, will punch you. I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile i lost a shipment of What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. 
It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Oh, he knew. Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, okay, I admit it. I was tired of your high and mighty speechifying all the time. It was just a joke, I swear. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. See, Captain? I've dealt with this swine before. I know how he thinks. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my... violent enthusiasm. You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. And even then, you saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. Thank you. I promise I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward. Oh, exactly as you'd imagine. Can't say I enjoyed the stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. The way I see it, the universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny, the world will try to correct for it. Solar winds deposited on my doorstep now. Just more dirt and debris. Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. 
There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. A crass way to put it, but yes, chemicals that can expand or destroy the participant's consciousness. And I believe he may be right. There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. No matter the cost? <laughs> it's just drugs, Max. We ain't making you walk in front of a firing squad. All right. Head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. What's wrong, Max? Can't think straight? Now you know how I feel. Uh, wait, forget I said that. We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated. Uh, perpetrated? I mean, we're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Always ready to give up, to lash out. Always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place. Never looking inside himself. You look inside yourself all the time, Max. But with your head buried up your posterior. Thank you. It relieves me to see there's at least one positive influence in my son's life after all these years. Has he told you how he thoughtlessly abandoned us? Thoughtlessly? How could you say that? I only wanted you and Father to be proud of me. I was going to be the perfect vessel. I was going to be a better... Uh, more full of the plan. This year, it, it's all coming out wrong. The plan. It filled you with a joy I could never feel. I wanted it. And being a laborer made me miserable. I was better than that. You certainly convinced yourself you were. But don't feel bad. We continually lie to ourselves, weaving stories in a vain attempt to convince us that we are in control of anything. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives. But they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. I got your story right here. I'm Vicar Max. I'm uptight. I love the church, and I'm a stooge for the board. And I don't understand that Felix is a genius. No, I 
just wanted to prove to my parents that I... That... I, damn it. You're right. Max, you need to lay the past to rest. What happened with your father and I, it's long dead. To attain your goals, you must live in the chaos. Be fine with the chaos. Whether you resist or not, it will take you wherever it wants. More assuredly than even the fictional architect's plan you sleep away to prove. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. This whole thing, it's... it's... it's just a farce, right? Just... just my own brain working against me? You couldn't be more right. Hello, Max. What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined, controlled. I have no doubts. And I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? Yeah, Max. Why do you do that? I don't. I mean, that's not how it is at all. I just... I don't know. Is it wrong to try to be a gooder... better person than I am? But that's not what you're doing, is it? You're desperately trying to find a story to organize reality in your head. A story to control everything. A new story of the happy you. The contented you. Me. That's not... Uh, it can't be right. I, I've only been searching for the answer to the equation. Because it will set us free. Won't it? How? Ah, by removing the need to make any decision. To have your life completely controlled? The illusion of certainty? Your obsession allowed you to avoid the real question. Who are you? I'm Max. Me! I'm real! You can't convince me otherwise! Please don't convince me I'm not. The concept of Max is what's not real. By the architect. Architect? How could I have believed in an architect? That's ridiculous. I must be losing my mind completely. What you're saying almost makes sense. We exist inside our thoughts, thinking we're in control. That's it, isn't it? We have no control. Over anything. It's all... Lies. How could I not have seen this? But how do we escape our... Ourselves? I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. I... woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting, I'm... experiencing. Everything... is perfect. In a way. Perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong questions. 
I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality, clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way they are. I am content. I've finally found what I was looking for, even though I was looking for the wrong thing. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? I wouldn't say my parents disowned me, strictly speaking. But before they died, they accused me of thoughtlessly abandoning them. I couldn't understand it. I was only trying to make them proud by becoming a better vessel for the plan, to feel the joy they felt. I was so certain my potential was wasted as a laborer, and was willing to risk everything just to prove to them that they were wrong. I was lost, misguided. Hey, you got a minute? So, have you found your answers? Not so much found as finally listened. Yes, it is quite the convoluted maze we build for ourselves. It looks like you learned something in there as well. Hearing that brings me great joy, my friend. <laughs>